Hello Virgos! So I'm trying to figure out like how to best interpret this, but um, the sun and the moon both in the upright position does indicate to me that um, timing is a huge factor here, okay? So if you're hoping to implement like um, new ideas, I do feel that waiting on this would be to your uh, benefit, okay? And waiting especially towards like the last week of the month, and even better if it's like um, the beginning of June. The beginning of June would be even more conducive for like uh, launching new projects, waiting on new things. I do feel that a lot of you might have already started this process or might have already um, kind of like been pushed into it, which is fine. If it's already happened, then it's going to happen. But I do feel like Mercury in retrograde is going to be problematic this um, month towards the end of the month as well. So. I do feel a decision needs to be made about the manifestation of new things. And it could be in a relationship situation, it could also be in a work environment. And I know that, you know, as the workaholics of the zodiac, I do feel in general that it is like more work related than relationships related. So it's going to be like in your work environment, in the um, social interactions that you get from co workers and bosses and people that are in. Um, you know, uh, supervisory roles, that's the type of energy that you're dealing with. But in general, the people that you're dealing with are in support of you, okay? So I do feel that um, the people you're around are very like-minded. Um, this is a different energy, and I'm, I'm going to talk about this in a little bit because it is in the reverse position. Um, what you have supporting you, because this is your card right here, um, it's an earth sign, okay? These people are like, um, they've been around the block and they know how to do these things. They know how to start projects. They know how to launch projects and they know how to help you because right now you're a page energy and you're still in training. So I feel like a lot of you might have started new internship opportunities, might have started new jobs, might have like been job hunting and might have landed something that is potentially like interesting that you want to dabble in. A lot of you too might have ideas for self-employment in which you're in charge of your own hours and things like that. But um, as a page energy, you are very young and you are kind of like, um, you're an apprentice and you're going through the, the training process, okay? So it could be literally your training and these people are training you and they're doing it in a very carefree, in a very lax manner, which is, you know, good for you because um, I feel like you need that. If it's not formal training, I do feel that um, there are outsiders, you know, people that you work with that are offering suggestions because they have expertise in that field, okay? So it could be like, um, that's not their sole focus, but they've done it before, so they're able to give you like um, uh, advice and very good ideas about how you can make this happen for yourself, okay? So you might be attending seminars, you might be out, um, aligning yourself with people who are in this position to help you and I do feel that it is going to be very beneficial for you. Another way this can play out too is uh, a lot of you might be like seeing people from the past like this is like good friends, old friends, old associates and things like that who are coming in and you're going to have a very splendid time with them. Um, the only thing that I would say is this um, the Queen of Swords does indicate a male or female okay um, air sign. So this is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. So what I would say is I don't sense romantic feelings uh, around this um, card. So I would say like um, if you have an idea and if this person, everyone else is supportive of you and this one person is like uh, questioning you or questioning your motives or questioning your um, the the success rate of this one idea, I want you to be careful because um, I feel that you're going to feel a little on the defense, but this person is like poking holes in your theory to make sure it stands the test of time, okay? So um, with the hangman and the queen of swords, what I do feel is that um, don't take it too hard. This is your, your ideas are still in the refining process. So if this person is being critical, it is his or her nature to be critical. But they're going to help you actually um, solidify the plans and to make it foolproof so that it has validity and it has like uh, longevity in the real world, okay? So make sure you keep that in perspective. Um, 
the hangman does indicate a period of waiting okay it is in the reverse position so I do feel that um, this person is giving the situation a gloss over like a once over and they're telling you to they're they're pushing you for it so don't let them push you into doing something that you're not ready for because once again the moon is a card of timing okay you intuitively will know when it's right so if they're pushing it or if they're stalling it don't let them um, take control of something that belongs to you because um, reverse timing is not on this person's side um, he or she is not as intuitive okay so in, use your intuition go with your gut instincts and you, you know just make sure so the queen of swords here and with the nine of um, wands I do feel that it is in your best interest to be a little more critical of the help that you're getting and to be more critical of the source of information that you're getting your um, that you're getting your knowledge from okay so more than anything I do feel that a lot of you will be capable of handling this yourself but you're allowing other people to kind of like interfere and in the process of interfering they're kind of like um, taking over your thing okay so I hope that makes sense and I hope you don't let that happen because um, you know like time and time again I feel that um, you are very capable okay and you know as as the earth sign I do feel that um, you are very capable you and um, Capricorns in general um, are just very level-headed and very um, good with money in general very dependable and uh, one other thing I would say is you have to get over this sense of like um, this lack of self-confidence lack of self-esteem okay you are more capable than you give yourself credit for people around you know that and I, I feel that um, with a lot of Virgos too, uh, wherever you work, you get the job done and it's done right, okay? So um, people trust you. And that's why they're able to relax around you because in every situation, you are the one that is like, um, your head's in the game and you're level-headed and people don't really have to worry about you. So you have to give yourself a little more credit and you have to like really understand your own potential because you are not offering... Um, you are not you are not like aware of your own sense of power so in this situation you know if it's um even if it's something you don't have like prior knowledge of I'm pretty sure in the future moving forward if you had to do it yourself you would do the research and you would gain the same amount of knowledge that these people have you know being in the field but you don't even need to be in the field you can gain the same amount of knowledge so don't um, don't let the self-doubt like um, hinder a good opportunity okay so just you know really go with it because more than anything you know it's the things in at the end of our lives the things that we don't do are the things that we regret so keep that in mind and, and like be fast on the uptake when opportunities fall on your lap just seize it don't doubt yourself and don't let other people um, overrun your projects okay like don't, don't let other people influence steer and you know um, take over your projects because that's not fair to the hard work that you put in into the hard work the foundation that you laid out and it requires work and dedication and other people can sweep in and you know um, benefit from your hard work that's just not fair and it's not to be selfish but it's just you know in the spirit of fairness people should only get what they put in I feel like that's um you know life's not fair in general but when you can help it try to make things fair okay for yourself more than anything because you're getting the short end of the stick so it's important for you to really like assert yourself and f figure out what it is that um that you can do well okay there are many things that you can do well but in general I, I do feel that um, figure out like who is really worth keeping on your team because I don't feel that everyone is there um, there I don't feel that um, they're all there for the right reasons okay especially if you're dealing with an air sign for some reason for this month um, okay so on the relationship front I do feel that um, relationship itself is not going to be problematic mainly because you have a very good card here so it does indicate to me that um, and relationships can be you know work partnerships too and I keep getting work 
for, for this spread. So what I'm going to say is, if you were to look at this, for example, this cluster, so you are the magician here, you're in the middle. And in the past, you might have been a little too willing to put yourself in partnerships because you don't feel comfortable doing it alone. And then, you know, it, so this is something that is in the past. And then there was a falling out. And then there was like a, a series of mistrust or breach of trust. And then moving forward, you're t thinking about doing things completely on your own, which is the right thing to do because you've been burned in the past. So you're moving forward and you're thinking about, you know, like uh, taking this leap of faith and just going ahead with it based on your abilities, okay? And then you get yourself into like a, you have good cards around it, okay? So if we were to look at this, um, this is something that is um, potentially like in the past or something that you're going to have to deal with this month. Like, I don't feel it's a major, major argument because you have very good cards, major arcana cards, trumping this, um, mundane cards the two of cups is not a major arcana and you're surrounded by the sun this is basically hopes and aspirations um in this position too the sun does indicate to me like illumination feeling very comfortable i mean he's um he's like nude so he's very comfortable in his own skin he's comfortable with his success and he's comfortable and confident about who he is okay so he or she and I do feel that a lot of you um, you might be dealing with somebody like this who is like even when you're down in the dumps this person will uplift you okay so it could be a fire sign especially like a Leo the Sun is the card of Leo but I'm sensing like this is an overwhelming energy so it could be a fire sign somebody who's very childlike who's very like uh, free-spirited and very um, innocent and harmless okay is, is what I'm sensing so for those of you who have your guard up about a potential partner that you're in a relationship with um, that's silly so you know just let that go okay if you're in a relationship with a fire sign especially a Leo then I would advise you to just, you know, uh, let that go and, you know, trust this person because they don't mean any harm, okay? And I, I feel that um, what you see is what you get with them. They wear their heart on their sleeves. They're very, like, um, harmless. So it's important to let this person into your life. At the same time, I feel that um, this person will restore your confidence and this person, I, I am feeling like the sun and the moon here. This is a very carefree energy, but this person has a lot of like emotional depth as well. So, you know, through the hard times, they will be your guiding, guiding light when everyone else is like, um, when things get rough and everyone else is like, you know, off covering their own butts, this person will still be there for you. So I do feel that, um, it's like the transition night and day, you know? So when things are, are all blissful and, you know, good, these people are around, like, kind of like that. These people are around. And then when things turn, when day turns into night and you're in a dark place, you know, you have to rely on your own um, reservoir of strength. But yet this person is still going to be in the picture for you, okay? So what I'm sensing is like a Leo or a Pisces, okay? Let me know how that plays out for you guys because um, it's just weird that the sun is here and the moon is here. And, you know, it's like a whole month cycle. So let me know how this plays out for you guys. But I'm sensing that greatly the people that are truly, truly, like, there to help you. I'm sensing, like, this Leo, this very bright, sunny energy. And this Pisces that is um, trying to illuminate the path for you so you can move forward and, like, have faith in your own strength, okay? Um, the energy itself is very soothing for this month, so I hope you're not dealing with, you know, residual energy with, pro like, troublesome co-workers or anything like that. I hope you're not. Um, uh, I just want to say to, like, um, with the magician in the upright position, a lot of you are like, you have big plans, okay? So a lot of you are on the verge of something. So if there is like a, a big project that you're trying to get off the ground, if there's like, you know, buying a home, even like a big property, it's a big investment. If there is like this new, um, for example, like if you're offer this like uh, once in a lifetime opportunity, I feel that it is coming in May. Okay, so really take this energy very seriously. You are getting help.
from a lot of sources, okay? And I do feel it is the same person, so let me know how that plays out for you guys individually. But um, I do feel that you are getting a lot of help, mainly because something is happening. It's like, um, yeah, I do feel that it is coming out of the blue, and it is coming out of like... Um, it's kind of like leaving an, an old job because it has run its course and then this big thing comes in for you. This really positive, really like uh, fulfilling thing. But you have to really like be there, you have to be present and you have to like grab this opportunity when it comes. If you wait too long, other people will chip in and you know like um, steal it from you. I wouldn't say steal because it's there for the taking but um, I would say like they would like they would interfere with their ideas and their pessimism, okay, and their um, their need to like put in their two cents. So you know, really try to go about this uh, the best your yourself if you can, because I do feel that this is a good month for you to implement it and like get out from uh, behind the scenes and shine in the spotlight, okay. So the energy itself is very very conducive for big major transformations in your life and I do see it is like a transformation on the inputs like um, lead you astray I feel that you need to do things on your own this month and really like heed your own calling and do things for yourself okay so have a wonderful wonderful prosperous May and let me know how this energy plays out in your life as well I will see you next week for the weekly re uh, video so hopefully we can flush out more of this stuff okay so thanks for watching